Hey everyone, so it's the first day out where it's, you know, not like rainy and gloomy and I actually had some free time. So we're back at this spot that we were at maybe a little bit over a month ago. Um, it's right over the line in PA and I've had really good luck here with salamanders before. So it's kind of a more upper Piedmont habitat. So what we're looking for, you know, the targets are long tails, uh, red salamanders, maybe some duskies, but red salamander is definitely on the list because I found one here last time and it got away from me. So I've got an act of vengeance going on. But um, yeah, we're just going to flip around some logs and rocks near these streams and springs and see what we find. I'll let you know. So found our first herp of the day after about only maybe five minutes of flipping. Cute little pickerel frog. He's just under this, looks like a brick among all these like creekside rocks, but pretty cool. This one looks healthy, so I'm gonna let him get back under there. We'll flip around a little bit more really healthy stream so pretty cool find not a herp or anything but finding this uh, helps me increase my odds of finding a queen snake here this season you guessed it crayfish carrying around this Tupperware container I'm trying to you know have something to you know keep stream water in you know where I'm not constantly handling amphibians but figure it was appropriate for this guy too. I mean, this guy, this is a healthy looking crayfish. <laughs> he looks just like a lobster. So that's what he is. Freshwater lobster. But yeah, thought it was cool. Figured I'd get a few pictures of him. So we're gonna let him go. Come on. Turn right side up. Awesome. So not exactly what I expected to find along this stream edge right here, but not really going to complain. I mean, even though it's common, but uh, two beautiful redback salamanders. Very rarely do I find two of the actual redbacks together. It's usually a redback and a leadback or a bunch of leadbacks, but these two are pretty stunning. So that's pretty cool. Gonna let him go back under there. Come on. Go ahead. Get back under there. Come on, you. Cool. We found some salamanders. <laughs> so open for some ones that I usually don't find. So literally, just like the other day. Flip the red back, went a few feet over, flip the rock. You know, this is a really, really pretty northern two lined salamander. Yeah, this one's decent size too. Put up a fight with me trying to catch it. They can be slippery. But yeah, pretty cool. We'll let him. Go back here. Come on. Come on. Nice. Well, we're finding stuff. Still a good looking one. Another red back. But that's salamander number four. We've only been here for maybe not even a half hour, so we're gonna keep on flipping. Not even gonna bother this guy, but another redback. And usually I wouldn't film these guys because, like I said, they're so common. But the ones we're finding today are just so beautiful. All right, nice. So finally, uh, hiked all the way up this spring. I'm kind of gassed because I'm out of shape, but uh. 
flipped a couple more redback salamanders, but finally another two lined, so something different. Had a dusky, but it got away from me. They're so slippery. But just a little bit left of this spring, and then I'm going to call it quits. But some good looking two lines. Like I said, common salamanders, but they are nice looking. So just flipped our third species of the day. Say northern dusky. Pretty common in these parts, but they're in my experience they're really hard to catch. <laughs> they are slimy, they're fast. Um, yeah, they can they can be a pain. But like I said this one's pretty good looking. You know be nice to find a red salamander but I'll take this put you back come on just like that he's gone you're fine so what a nice uh, triple flip red back red back little red back pretty cool all right, that's it for the day. Hey guys, so it's been well over a week since I've made it back out, but on that last video, I didn't really get enough footage to close it off like that. So I'm gonna, I'm at a spot right here in Northern Cecil County. I come to a lot. It's probably in the high fifties today. I don't expect to really see any snakes, but we're going to herp along this creek right here. See what we can flip, see if we can find, you know, some duskies, some two lines, and maybe even like a red salamander if we get lucky. So, I'll let you know what we find. Okay, so we got our first in-hand herp of the day. I had a two-lined and a green frog get away from me, but just, uh, look, this beautiful guy is just a northern dusky. Finally got him to calm down for a little bit. I, you know, letting him stay in my little container with the stream water. Like I said, these guys are pretty common, but I like them. Always a cool find. Just want to find his bigger cousin, the red salamander. That'd be cool. So yeah, we're going to take a few pictures and then uh, release him back into here. Awesome. So I think I finally hit a good spot here, um, literally two feet away from where I found that dusky. I flipped this, found this little two-line salamander. And here we have northern two lines. Um, they're pretty cool looking. This one's tiny. So I don't think it's an adult, but still cool. Yeah, probably get some pictures and then let him go. So I went through a probably about another 20 minutes without finding anything, just working my way down this creek. And uh, yes, I'm sitting down because I'm lazy. But finally, got a, another salamander, just another two lined. And, uh, most of the people that are watching this are probably into herping, but... You know, for those that aren't and just enjoy the videos, this group of salamanders here, along with duskies, red salamanders, long tail salamanders, pretty much all the other salamanders you find in these creek habitats, I believe they belong to a group called Plethlodon. And um, basically, these salamanders are lungless, so they breathe through their skin. That's why it's important to have them, you know, always have your hands wet if you are handling them. And, uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty interesting. You know, a vertebrate animal that doesn't have lungs. But, yeah, pretty cool. Again, take a few pictures, release this one. I think it's a male back under there. So I think we're going to call it a video uh, right there and wrap everything up. Not too much uh, 
you know, excellent finds from this video. You know, I hate to insult any animal, but it was mostly common stuff. But I really like the habitat I was hiking in. A lot of it looks promising for other stuff. And, you know, we found some pretty cool looking common species. So all in all, I'm not feeling that bad. But uh, in a few days, so later in this week, me and Bree are heading down to coastal South Carolina just for a vacation for a few days just to get away. But you guessed it, I'll be doing some herping on a at least one or two of those days and I'm hoping to find some pretty cool stuff that we don't have up here um, but we'll see uh, you know what kind of habitat we find and everything but as always I want to thank you guys for watching this and I am always trying to put out new stuff for you but thank you and I'll see you soon